now. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. You're yeah, a bunch I've of been losers. thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. You know, what kind of plan could you make in that situation? I mean, obviously you go with the boat if Kenny knows the waters. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. Oh, shit, I didn't see Reach out in time. Now, I was going to say, you don't know what has happened in anywhere else. If you could find a small island that it, uh, and kill the zombies off. There's some places in uh, Florida you can only reach by road that are fairly smaller. I think there are. That's probably too far away, but I don't know anything about where the hell are they? Georgia or somewhere? Georgia? <sighs> Clementine? She went to look. I was gonna say, why is he not taking her to look for her parents? I don't understand that at all. You know, if I had to let Kenny go, I mean, her parents are her parents. I'd go look for her parents with her. I don't understand. Well, I know why it's not an option. It'd be dangerous as hell, but I understand her needing to do it. Clementine? Clementine! It ain't like Lee's gonna have things work out God. well for him. Okay, but she would not have left her hat. So that means somebody's got her. We still have our unanswered walkie-talkie person, obviously not Crawford, or probably not Crawford. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
shit, why didn't I hit it? I know, you are dead. That mess here. Come on, stomp him. Lee, you've been hellbound from the first. Man up. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house. What? Either. No, I didn't. I pressed What the one. hell is going on? Shit. What is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. Oh, I thought it was no, said no you fucking to way. It. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Uh Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. I guess yeah, I right. said you chose can't not to do this alone. It. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Oh, those are some kick-ass antibiotics. Kenny, what's up? Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. So you're gonna I bug am out. a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Well, piss off them. You know what, Kenny? Fuck yourself. You gonna let a little girl die because I didn't have your back every damn minute? Maybe you should grow the fuck up. Do whatever you want, asshole. Oh, you gonna break bad with me now? You might have been looking out for me and my family back when we first teamed up, but ever since then, you've been thinking about yourself more often than your friends. You're on your own now, Lee. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Come on, guys, let's go. Bye, Kenny. Oh, did they get zombified? Or did they move? I'd say they moved. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt!
you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Got us, loud. Walking Dead, Episode 5, No Time Left. I'm going to stop filming and restart it. Hopefully it won't do anything weird. Okay, we're at the uh, Psychograph part. Once upon a time, Penthouse had a thing called a Psychograph. It asked you all these different questions, multiple choice. You had uh, one point for each one, depending, you know, it was randomized. So, one point for one question, two points, etc., and based on your score, you fell into different categories. Uh, I don't know. Uh, paranoia comes to mind, but I don't know if that was one of them. Uh, I imagine some of them might have been about competence in some fields. I'm not sure. It was called psychographs. I meant to look them up for this, and I keep forgetting. Okay, the boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 74% of players kill him. Now again, uh, there's I know a lot of people that play this like six times to do all the different options. So I'm not sure how valid any of this is. Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of players were rational and honest. Uh, did you, oh, home alone. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 73% of players brought her. I don't think she's safe anywhere. For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 33% of players let him go. I did kind of feel bad about that after I did it. I felt bad about it while I was doing it. But I, it's just the 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 people at the motor court lying to him and all that i mean you know he couldn't know about catch and duck although yeah and he didn't know their group that much i don't know that was a difficult situation but he was awful gullible i mean he should have asked to at least see his friends or something and gosh i can't remember what else he's done oh abandoning uh, Clem, you know, I understand fear, and I said at one point that he's a pussy, it's just, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, uh, there's people that are cowards, and there are people that are, you know, you could actually say you're smart enough to know you're in danger and get your ass out of it, but it's not a world for that anymore, not as far as a group, uh, and then... Taking the axe out of the door to let the zombies come in and kill everybody, that's... That was probably not a good thing to do. But it's just, I don't know. It's just a world where Ben didn't fit anymore. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he could go his own merry way. I guess I should have tried to drag him up. That's the one thing I felt bad about is perhaps I should have dragged him up and then he could have gone his own way. But it's like I didn't know how that would work out. So dropping him was easy. Screw him. Anyway, the bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of the people showed the bite. Yeah. I wonder how that would have turned out in real life. but And I... Well, Duck had time. I would have showed the bite. Because uh, I, I probably... I I... I might have had to think about it, though. So, I think that's a fair answer. Who came with you? 11%. Krista and Omid. 13%. This breaks down mostly into 10s. 18%. Just Kenny and uh, Lee. And I got no idea why Omid and Krista came with me. I, I wouldn't have expected it. Uh, and again, I think you've got people that went through the game and made sure that everybody came with them or just Kenny or that they 
played it to end up with a solo ending, so I'm not sure this has any meaning. So, however, that's just my opinion. You know, there's a lot of games that are uh, multi-person where people try to do it solo or without this or without that. So, not that that entirely applies, but uh, let me... Okay, uh, I'm turn the game sound down a bit. Uh, I think there's one more chapter, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at anything. I did kind of look at some of the stuff I'd already done to see if I'd done if I should go back and replay something or and, and I don't know if I would have even if I should have but it seems like most decisions pretty much move you forward in the same direction. I didn't really realize that uh, old Kenny had bugged her off, but I'm not mad about it. Right, I'm going to record these and you can watch them if you want to. I've got to think they've been up like a trillion times. Well, we reached the end of them. Is this, I was going to take a little biological break there, but I think something's going to happen here. No? Okay, good. Well, this looks like a logical stopping point, so I'll see you all in a bit. And uh, always take care of yourselves. Beware of the zombie apocalypse. Please do not tell your friends and neighbors or contact your local school that in the event that there isn't a zombie apocalypse, they should uh, talk to you for information because they may think you've flipped a screw. But if you feel you need to, uh, just uh, be aware you may be uh, <laughs> getting help you didn't expect and not necessarily with zombies. There are actually people that are have plans to... I don't know. There are people that are telling the television people that they have plans for the apocalypse. Uh, I kind of understand survivalists, but I mean the ones that aren't like uh, uh, Nazi uh, Nazi uh, nutballs. But uh, I, I, zombies in the realm of fantasy. Uh, anyway, we'll leave all that go. Uh, I, like I said, I think one chapter to go.